Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss Human Genome Project. But before we delve into the mesmerizing world of Human Genome Project, let's rewind the clock to 1953. Picture this, uh, James Watson and Francis Crick, two brilliant minds cracked the enigma of DNA's double standard structure. Their discovery ignited a scientific revolution that reverberates to this day, setting the stage for an incredible journey of genetic exploration. Now let's fast forward a few decades into 1990s, an era of unparalleled ambition and scientific wonder. Imagine scientists across the globe uniting under a single banner the Human Genome Project. Their audacious goal? To decipher the entire genetic code of humanity. Think of it as a reading the most complex book ever written with 3 billion letters of DNA holding the blueprint of life itself. So what were the goals of Human Genome Project? But what exactly were the goals that fueled this monumental endeavor? Brace yourself because we are diving deep into the heart of the matter. Imagine the human genome as a vast library containing genes that determine our every trait. The Human Genome Project's first goal was to decode this library to identify and map the genes that shape who we are. It's like finding the keys to the intricate machinery of life itself. Human DNA sequencing, the primary goal was to sequence all 3 billion base pairs of human DNA which make up the genome. The gene identification, the project aims to identify and locate approximately 20,000 to 25,000 human genes, each carrying instructions for making proteins. Functional understanding, researchers sought to understand the functions of these genes and their role in the health and diseases. Comparative genomics, the project also aimed to compare the human genome with those of other species to understand evolutionary relationships. So these are the major goals of the Human Genome Project. Yet it wasn't about us, it was about unveiling our place in the evolutionary symphony. The project ventured into comparative genomics where our genetic blueprint was compared with other species. Think of it as a tracing our cosmic ancestry, revealing the threads that bind us with the entire tapestry of life. So what were the techniques and technologies used in the Human Genome Project? Now let's roll up our sleeves and and uh, dive into the thrilling world of techniques and technologies that paved the way for the scientific audacity, the Human Genome Project. Meet the unsung heroes, the laboratory wizards armed with the test tubes and sequences. Frederick Sanger's pioneering method set the foundation, but the real breakthrough came with the next generation sequencing. Imagine going from a horse-drawn carriage to the supersonic jet in the world of genetics. That's what the next generation sequencing has brought in. Sanger sequencing, this method developed by Frederick Sanger, was used initially for sequencing DNA. It involved creating complementary DNA strands to determine the sequence of bases. And next comes to the next generation sequencing that revolutionized genomics by allowing parallel sequencing of millions of DNA fragments. It dramatically increased speed and lowered the cost. But here's where the plot thickens. Sequencing DNA unleashed torrents of data, veritable genetic deluge. Enter the bioinformatics, the master code breakers of the modern era. They transform data chaos into meaningful insights, building bridges between DNA fragments to unveil the grand tapestry of our genetic legacy. The data challenges, genomic sequencing generates vast amount of data requiring specialized tool for storage and analysis. Genome assembly, the process of piecing together short DNA sequence into longer sequence to reconstruct the full genome. Gene annotation, identifying the labeling genes, regulatory regions and other functional elements within the genome. So once the data is there, now comes the ethical implications. Our journey isn't just about discoveries and the data, it's also a voyage through the intricate realm of ethics where the convergence of science and society sparks illuminating debates because whenever the data of human genome involved, definitely there is debate on the ethics involved in that. Uh, the genetic data is most intimate blueprint accessible to others. Genetic privacy takes center stage, raising vital questions about the control, consent and the boundary between scientific progress and the personal rights. And that's where the principle of informed consent steps in. A pact between uh, you and the scientific voyage, it's akin to giving permission to the journey into the deepest corridors of your genetic asyl while ensuring your autonomy remains unscattered. The Human Genome Project has impacted medicine and discoveries. Now let's transition from the realms of ethical debate into the shows of medicine where the Human Genome Project's impact reverberates most profoundly. Genes, those microscopic architects 
dictate everything from eye color to the susceptibility to diseases. By deciphering their functions, the project unveiled the genetic secrets behind ailments like cystic fibrosis and imagine rewriting the medical narrative armed with precise knowledge. Understanding the functions of genes helps identify genetic cause of disease and potential therapeutic targets. With this, pharmacogenomics came into existence or into the picture. Now, for pharmacogenomics is here to redefine medicine, envision a world where the medications are custom tailored to your unique genetic composition. It's a symphony of healing nodes designed specifically for you, minimizing side effects and maximizing the benefits. Genetic variations that influence drug responses leading to the concept of personalized medicine. With the vast knowledge of genomic information, one can target specific medicine, personalized medicine for each genetic variation. Tailoring the drug treatments to individuals' genetic makeup improves the efficacy and reduces the adverse effects. But that's not all. Imagine a treasure hunt for genetic marker that linked to the disease like solving a captivating puzzle. Genome-wide association studies act as a crystal ball, giving us glimpses into the health challenges that lie ahead. These studies identify genetic variants associated with the diseases, aiding in early diagnosis and personalized treatments. Complex disease treatment can be identified like uh, diabetes, heart disease and cancer. The role of certain genes and responses to these uh, diseases can be identified. As our ship sails towards the horizon, we encounter writers of uncharted potential, painting the canvas of genetic and vibrant colors of promise and innovation. Epigenomics steps into the stage, revealing the symphony of gene regulation beyond the DNA script. Meanwhile, the human microbiome reveals the universe of tiny alleys, shaping our health and well-being in ways we have only beginning to grasp. The precision medicine emerges as a guiding star on our genetic voyage. Imagine the treatments customized to your unique genetic constellation, rendering ailments powerless against your personalized amendment. And on the horizon, CRISPR-Cas9 beacons a molecular scalpel that promises to rewrite the genetic destinies and cure diseases that their very roots. Genetic profiling, identifying genetic variations helps in tailoring the treatments to individuals' genetic makeup and improving the treatment outcomes. It also has improved the cancer treatment. Precision medicine in oncology involves targeting the specific mutation for personalized therapies. Genome editing tools like uh, CRISPR-Cas9 allow precise modification of genes, holding promise for gene therapy and curing the genetic disease. The power to edit a human genome raises important ethical questions about unintended consequences and responsible use. As we dock our ship, uh, remember that the human genome project isn't just a historical tale. It's a living, breathing narrative that shapes contours of science, medicine, and society even today. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share it with your friends. Thank you.